and welcome to my official first YouTube vlog. I have been wanting to do this for so long. I feel like I kept making all of these mental barriers and like excuses for myself as to like why it wasn't the perfect time to start. As some of you guys know we're building our dream house and so I kept thinking like oh I'll just start YouTube when we move into our new house and that way I have like a more aesthetic place to film which is silly. You don't need that and I thought it would be more fun to kind of take you guys along and um show you the journey on YouTube as well with the house build and that way it'll be like really exciting when you get to move in. There's no time like right now. Let's just do it. Let's just try it. I don't see the harm in trying. 2023 is the year, okay? So we're gonna get into it. It is 8 a.m. right now. My daughter and my husband are downstairs playing. I made myself a coffee, but I thought we could do my hair first and then do my makeup and just kind of chat and hang out. I got a lot of PR packages for work yesterday so we can unbox those and do like a little try on and I don't know. I'm excited to see where the day leads. It's gonna take me some time probably to get used to YouTube. It's a completely different platform from what I'm used to, which is TikTok and Instagram, which is more short form. Um, so please bear with me when it comes to editing. I'm sure as my YouTube channel evolves, I will also evolve with like my editing skills. Last night, all I added was a little bit of water because I already had product in it and um, I didn't really wanna add more product because that kind of just weighs my hair down and, creates buildup. I find that a difference between me and a lot of people in like the natural hair community or people I follow who have similar hair to me is that I use significantly less product. I don't know why that is, I just don't like how a lot of product feels in my hair. It's another reason why I don't like to do wash and goes. It's a typically defined curly look, you need so much product, or at least I would need a lot of product. Not only do I not like how it makes my hair feel, but I also don't like how it flattens my hair out and as my hair has gotten longer, I lose volume naturally, but with more product, it just loses even more volume. I, I use a very, very small amount of very specific products that I know I like and I know my hair reacts well to. It's a bit of a gloomy day outside right now, so hopefully the lighting is okay, but I think we're gonna move on to makeup. Okay, I finished my makeup, and for the finishing touch, I got this lipstick sent to me by Charlotte Tilbury yesterday, um, and I will probably unbox the rest of that stuff with you guys, but they sent me this lipstick called So 90s. Um, and it's this deep, wait, I can't, oh god, am I doing that influencer focus thing? Does it actually work? Kind of does. Okay, well, anyways, it's like deep berry color. Let me use this and see how it looks. Wait a second. Okay, that's really pretty. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a gloss on top. One of my favorite lip oils, it's this really pretty plum shade. So I'm going to use that, a little bit of that on top just for hydration. And that is my makeup complete. I'm do a little bit of an unboxing. I got some stuff in from one of my all-time favorite brands. I'm so excited to show you guys. Let's see what we got. This packaging. It's just so pretty. Green is my favorite color, so. Okay, so the first piece that they sent is this really cute tote bag. It's a deep emerald green. This is gonna be perfect for traveling or honestly just any time, like day-to-day -day use because it's a perfect size. It's not too big, not too small. This sort of equestrian fit, so pretty. Okay, next is this box. It looks like a shoe box. There's a little storage bag and then here are these loafers. These are gonna be so comfortable for spring. Sadly, in Canada, I'm not gonna be able to wear these outside for quite a while because there's still a lot of snow and then once the snow melts, it'll be time for my Wellington boots, also from Holland Cooper, because it's just so slushy and gross, but when the snow and water and mud dries up, these are going to be perfect for so many outfits. You can wear this with dresses, shorts, jeans. I cannot wait, so cute. Here's the second big box. This shirt is beautiful. There's also this pair of jeans. Love, love. I don't know what's going on with my lighting here, but for this next piece, I decided to throw on another older Holland Cooper jumper that I have. But they sent me this little gilet or vest, depending on where you live. Um, this is going to be perfect for days out at the farm with the horses and just hanging out outside for like a perfect little layer. It's super cozy and soft. It also has these really cute little details, like look at that. I love the collar detailing. Okay, and the last piece is this like all-weather jacket. I've never seen a more beautiful rain jacket or coat in my life. We're gonna try it on. Okay, already the sleeve detailing has this like, oh, has this, wait, does it have thumb hole? <gasps> it 
has thumb holes. Oh my god. I'm sorry, they thought of everything. That is genius. It's like a trench coat style. And you can tighten the waist, which is very much my style. I like to cinch everything in with a belt, so. It's actually so cute. Holland Cooper has done the impossible and created a rain jacket that is adorable. So beautiful. I'm excited to style up all these pieces in the coming months. It's gonna be perfect. It's really sunny right now. Um, I just popped on this really comfy cashmere jumper sweater. I'm staying home all day and now I think I'm just going to go fold some laundry while I have free time to get it done and then maybe we'll do a workout after if I can talk myself into it. Let's go do some laundry. It's so sunny. Oh my god. for this weekend is to find a way to organize all of my daughter's toys right now it's not that bad um, but we have some under there as well and these little like basket things I'm gonna try to organize it in a way where it's like stored away so that way all of her toys essentially don't lose their novelty and pull out one at a time and it's exciting each time rather than just having them all splayed out good morning Yes, I can. Get dad's nose. Is it ready? I think it is. Bingo. Bingo. Right? B. 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 What sound does the letter C make? Well, you can either say S or K. 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 For cat. Or cake. Right? What about letter D? What sound does it make? Every time I take down my hair, it smells so good because I use a beta and their fragrances are so nice. My hair's a little damp still, actually, isn't it? Voila, my hair is done. Um, I think out is outfit time. I have a rough idea of what I want to wear, but um, I need to sort out the fine details because I'm not 100% sure yet, so... I might show you options if I have time. I might not have time, we'll see. I didn't have time to show you guys my outfit, but I did post my photos on Instagram so you can see it there. But we stopped by the house and they installed our big, huge sliding glass doors, which was so exciting. We were giddy on the inside. Good morning, it is now the next day and I'm doing 10 minutes of red light therapy. I like to do this every morning when I first wake up. Like, this is the mask I have. I use it all the time. I have the discount code with them, so I'll leave that um, down below. So we are off to our daughter's gymnastics class and then I thought we could get ready together. I have a bunch of new products that I've never tried, a lot of brands I've never even heard of before. Um, it's definitely one of the perks of this job that I get to like test out so many amazing products and share them with you guys. So today I'm going to use some of that and see if we like any of it. Um, this is one of my favorite concealers. It's from Lancome. I just kind of have to get ready fast because we are leaving in about 15 minutes. So we're gonna blend this out as quickly as possible. All right, so that's kind of my base. I just did concealer and some of the um, Say Beauty Water Glow. What is this called? Star Glow. Volumizing Balm, which is that. Another Hourglass product. Their packaging is so nice. Ooh, wait, how to 
this is oh. mm, okay I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer because I'm kind of running out of time do what do I use that what do I use this for like is this for bronzer I don't think so I kind of let blush do most of the talking on me especially ever since I figured out what my palette is I'm a deep winter so I really love to lean into like the cool tone pink blushes I think they look really good bronzers are great but just for like adding a little bit of warmth and depth but I just don't go crazy with it like I used to back in the day do you want to come to the gymnastics? yeah I'm coming with you okay I'm running out of time I really gotta speed this up stunning packaging oh wow it's like a very bright red I don't think I'm gonna wear that today but that's very pretty okay Ooh, that's a pretty color um, oh that's a cute little bunny at the bottom okay we'll, we'll try this one balm on top okay I love that combo all of these products that I tried are 10 out of 10 for me so far um, I'm rushing so I'm going to continue getting ready I have to get dressed like, we're on our way like, um, we're no oh cool was it loud like so I wish I could remember who it was I saw a video on TikTok of a mom I think she had two kids and she was saying that something that helps her so much is organizing her kids toys and activities and my husband and i took pretty much all afternoon to just go through all of our daughter's toys from literally since she was born until now and we like decluttered we organized we got all the sets together that we could find and we created this little designated space so she's got her little music section some puzzles her like little arts and crafts like dress up stuff some extra books she has way more books upstairs and then all of these little toys up here. So the idea is for our daughter, she gets really bored with her toys when they're all just like splayed out everywhere all the time. But I find that when I keep something away and then I pull out an old toy, she gets excited again, like it's brand new again. So we're gonna try that out and also just peace of mind for organization and not losing things, especially toys like this that come in like little sets. Like we love these little, I love every toys and like little puzzles. Um, but there's so many little tiny wooden pieces that it's so easy to lose them all. Like you can see we're missing two up there. We're missing two pieces in that one. We're missing one there. So hopefully this will help. Um, but for the most part, we have everything all organized and I'm so excited. We also have some random cosplay costumes. It's my husband's Jedi robe. <laughs> yeah, that will be really great. So we can have her come in here, pick her toy that she wants to play with and then put it away when she's done. It is now a few days later and I think I still need to get used to the idea of bringing my camera out and about with me. And this channel can really turn into whatever we want. I want it to feel kind of collaborative. So you guys let me know what you want to see. And once our house build gets going, I know I'm going to be really excited to share a lot of that stuff because interior design is another thing that I haven't really gotten a really good chance to share yet because um, basically we don't want to waste money on like designing this house when we're building our forever house right so once that gets rolling more i'm excited to share that but yeah anyways if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see here on this channel please let me know until then i'm just going to keep vlogging my life and just sharing little bits here and there whether that's value in the form of education or entertainment or just wholesome good vibes like that's kind of what i'm all about for now we'll end it here and i will see you in the next one